15. I can't believe it's only my second video back after not filming and I'm putting myself on the internet looking like this. I don't want to get up. I don't actually need to. Like there's nothing I'm rushing to do. Nothing I really need to do to be honest. So this might be boring but I thought I would vlog because I'm gonna do a bit of a life update. Nothing major, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things like why I haven't been filming, what I'm hoping to film and do with this channel now that I'm back, and stuff to do with my A-levels and uni. Just watching the repeat of Coronation Street on the TV. Gonna sit here for five and then my belly's growling so I need to go and do some breakfast. Probably toast and tea as always. I've just heard my grandpa get off the phone to his friend. So I feel like he's going to make me a cup of tea, so I'll wait for him because he actually enjoys doing that every morning. So if I just give it a minute, he'll bring one up for me and I'll go down afterwards and get my toast. All right, baby? Yeah, thanks. Good girl. Here he is. Hello, baby. Bruce. It's better than always. I know. Hello. <laughs> Oh, there we are. You're so cute. He's gonna follow you. Two-faced. As you just saw, my grandpa did bring me up a cup of tea. He's literally the best. I've got some Philadelphia on toast and I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. I just had a bath as you saw and I'm now gonna do something to this hair and while I do that I'm gonna start talking about stuff. I do this thing when I'm getting ready where if I'm too hot but I also don't want to sit here naked I put my dressing gown as like a boob tube top and then I take the sleeves and I just tie them up here but it always makes me feel like is it Rita Ora? It was at like an award show or something and she wore basically a dressing gown as a dress and then she had a towel turban on her head. So there are many reasons why I stopped filming but the main reason is lack of motivation and creativity and I just didn't want to force it like if I didn't know what to film I didn't want to just keep checking out vlogs where I'm literally chilling at home all day even though this is what this is but I am actually talking about stuff and then my channel just started like dying probably because of the content because I didn't really put much effort in so I thought I would have a break I only wanted to have a break for like a couple of weeks and then that turned into a month which turned into two months and then exams came and I know that's not an excuse because so many people make videos while they're literally doing their exams but I just didn't want to put out half-assed videos because I'm the type of person who stresses so easily and I was just so focused on my exams like don't get me wrong I wasn't revising 24 7 there was plenty of days where I wasn't revising because I couldn't be bothered and I could have just sat down and filmed a video but my head was just not in the YouTube space like I just to be honest didn't want to film I did then debate filming after my exams but once they were done I can't explain like all I wanted to do was just chill and that's all I've done all summer I started thinking about filming again when it got to results day because I am obsessed with watching people open their results whether that's GCSEs AS level or A level um, and I didn't film my AS results even though I was filming around that time last year so I thought why don't I film my A2 results especially because they determine whether I get into uni or not which I'm going to talk about in a little bit so I did want to but it got to the day and I was just so stressed and anxious and I actually ended up staying over my boyfriend's because I just knew if I was in my house I would just not sleep and even over his like I didn't even sleep much to be honest I was tossing and turning all night and in the morning I felt sick like it kind of felt like Christmas but it kind of felt like the worst day ever and I was just so caught up in like worrying about it and actually finding out my results that I didn't even bother to pick up my phone and record. But since results, I've had like a light bulb moment. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully now I can get into a routine of posting videos, videos that I'm excited about and hopefully you'll be excited about as well. 
there will still be lots of vlogs like this because honestly I love vlogs as much as my life is so boring but like I said it's nice to have some creativity flowing in this little brain I think exams like drained every ounce of motivation and energy and creativity and ideas out of my head so I'll just blame exams I've rambled on now but that's basically why I haven't been filming and what I'm going to be doing with my channel I'm now going to just check on some makeup to quickly pop out I need to like go to the bank go to the shop so I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup and listen to some music but guys this is the look like look at me all the depressing songs on this morning this is my chill playlist but it's quite depressing but I can't get back. Um, this is my outfit I just have on a khaki green okay just grab my boob a khaki green vest top black culotte trousers and black and white old school vans and my glasses on my head which I'll have to wear in the shop because I'm going blind smells amazing it's kind of floss and then i'm gonna put on my black leather jacket and there we go i'm back from the shop now i feel so tired i'm acting as if i've like just been to the gym or something i feel really tired oh, another cup of tea a bit of a problem and i'm just watching the sakomi jolies for a little bit Hi guys, it's quite a few hours later now. I'm now going to talk about A-levels and uni and everything that's going on in that aspect of my life. So if you really don't care or this is going to be boring then you can just not watch it but for anyone who wants to know then I'm going to tell you. So firstly, a little bit of background, if you don't know, then in sixth form I was a year behind because the first time around it just didn't work out, I ended up going to college and then due to a family circumstance I needed time off and I wasn't allowed so I had to put myself and my mental health first and I dropped out and then for a year I was jobless, friendless, emotionally unstable, you name it. So I dropped out in like the November, it wasn't until the next summer that I just thought I need to go and do something I need to go back to school and I was really grateful that they let me back I didn't think they were going to and as much as I was worried about it those two years in sixth form were actually really nice like they were stressful obviously but actually being in school it was nice to be back I haven't even said what subjects I did so I did geography sociology and English literature and language in year 12, I stressed out a lot, but I did work hard. I had a lot of mental breakdowns during the exam period, crying, telling my friends, I'm going to fail before I even start the exam, which this year I just learned not to do. And I actually got ABB, so I did shock myself, even though I've always worked hard. I just was worried I wasn't going to do well after having so much time off, like I'd literally forgotten how to write and spell. But yeah, I got ABB, so I was buzzing with that and going into year 13, obviously, when the exams are harder and there's more work to do, it was nice to be on good grades, if that makes sense. In year 13, during the like two week exam period, I was weirdly calm. Now, I was telling myself it's because, you know, I've done all that I can, I revised really hard, so this is just my mind knowing that and I'm calm. But then at the same time, I was thinking, am I just calm because I've well and truly hit it and I'm gonna fail. To get into uni on the course that I wanted to do, it varied from uni to uni so I had to apply to five. I actually only applied to four. I don't know why, I think I just thought like four's enough, like if I don't get offers from at least two out of four then 
Fleur de L. So originally I needed, for the university that I wanted to go to, I needed ABB and then they lowered it to BBB which I was buzzing with, what most of you people are probably here for because I'm nosy like that as well. In year 13 I actually got an A star and three A's. I was really shocked. Obviously when you wake up first you find out if you got into uni or not. So when I said that I did, obviously I didn't care what I got. So when I saw, first of all when I saw an A star I was like surely not and then three A's. So for an A star obviously you need 90% in the year 13 papers which is a lot and I got that in sociology which I got a B in year 12. I got into uni of course because I needed three B's and I got an A star and three A's so I got into uni I'm not going to say the uni that I'm going to people always say not to because you know stalkers and all that but just to make it clear for people who live in my area which most of my viewers do I'm going to the university of the city that I live in okay the course I'm studying is journalism and communications it really interested me when I looked at it on various different websites when I looked at the modules and everything and I think the course suits me as a person, like academically. Well, I hope anyway, we'll see. In terms of accommodation, I'm actually living at home. A couple of reasons. Firstly, it's way cheaper. Like, why am I going to pay over £100 a week to live in, in accommodation that's actually further away from the building than my house? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. But the main reason is because I live with my grandpa and... I don't mean that in like a baby way, like I don't want to leave my grandpa because I think I'd be okay moving out, like I'm really independent, I can cook, I can clean. Well, this video is literally just me bragging about myself and being big headed, we love that. Yeah, my grandpa is 82 and he doesn't need like 24 seven care or anything, but I do care for him and I just wouldn't feel okay leaving him. I know at some point I'm gonna have to, but for you, me, if I can live at home, I am going to. People think that if you live at home, then you're not gonna make friends, you're not gonna have the full freshers experience. That's not true at all, I don't think. I think it just depends on the person you are. For example, I've already spoken to a lovely group of girls who I'm so excited to meet. We haven't met yet, but we're gonna meet during freshers. It just goes to show like, it doesn't mean if you're living at home you're going to be completely isolated and not go out and not make friends but even if that was the case that's something that I was willing to sacrifice like not making friends straight away I was willing to sacrifice that for the sake of still being able to stay home and look after my grandpa but yeah I'm happy with my choice to live at home and I'm really excited for uni yeah that's all I needed to say I think I say all I needed to say, I literally haven't shut up, but I'm probably going to end the vlog here now, I'm going to take this makeup off and I'm just going to get in my bed. Thank you very much for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video. I will definitely see you in my next video, obviously I'll see you in my next video because it's my video.